What up guys, doing another review, this time a track review for the brand new Amon Amarth song, Deceiver of Gods. Now Amon Amarth are a melodic death metal band from Sweden. Uh, over the course of the years, Amon Amarth have become, uh, along with Behemoth and Camel Corpse, one of the biggest names uh, in death metal. They play a brand of thrash inspired melodic death metal, which has um, a fair amount of simpler song structures. As well as you know things like solos, uh, very high tempo uh, songs, and deep growl vocals mixed in with high screams. Um, now uh, they're coming out with a new album this year called Deceiver of Gods. I highly suggest you check out the album cover. It couldn't be more Viking inspired if they just went down straight to Norway. Um, and this is the title track from the new album. And while I can say it instantly, it's very good. Amar um, Marth are not a hard band to dissect really. Um, but you can definitely tell there's little hints here of what they're gonna, what this album is gonna be like. The first thing is production. Now it's the first time we've heard production on the album, and for the most part, it's your standard uh, Monomarth production. Guitars are very heavy in the mix, especially with the uh, kick drum, and the vocals stand out always with uh, the double, you know, the uh, what's it called, uh, double vocal attack with the screams and the highs. Uh, the guitar wise, the guitar riffs on here are much more lead driven. The whole song and the whole has a bit more of a thrashier feel than um, the more like death metal feel. A lot of the riffs on here remind me much more of like Iron Maiden, Megadeth, newer creator. Um, a lot of there's a lot more leads compared to uh, more recent Amar material, say like Twilight of the Thunder Gods and uh, Sutra Rising. There's much more lead based material here, which is actually really nice. Because they can be a little bit formulaic and simple at times when you wish for more. Drum wise, it's your very standard uh, style drums from Modern Marth. Nothing really new here. Uh, choruses have high sections of double bass with the 4 4. Bass wise, this is something I like about the reduction the bass is actually amped up and the bassist is actually following some of the leads sometimes on this on the uh, title track, which is really nice. Now for Jonas's vocals, this is his very standard vocaling, but it still sounds awesome. He still sounds like a fucking Viking ready to t do battle with like Odin or fucking any kind of Christian god, or I mean, sorry, Roman god. Um, overall, the song is a simple structure, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. The guitar solo on this is actually um, probably my only complaint. I feel like at the time the guitar solos come out, which is this nice harmonized, uh, dual harmonized guitar solo, the music itself was just a little too fast, and I would have preferred something a little bit more shreddy in the mood of like Twilight of the Thunder God. And for me, uh, I wanted to put this where you know I've heard with other uh, Mono Marth songs where this one kind of sounds like this. From what I've heard, this is going to have a more like lead based version of Twilight of the Thunder God because I'm getting a lot of influence on this track of. Like the title track from Twilight of the Thunder God and Free Will Sacrifice. But overall, it's actually a really strong tra track from these guys. I love Amarno Marth, so it's great to hear that they haven't really changed up the sound except for a few little new things, such as more lead based work and a bit of a thrashier sound, and also a little bit of a better production. Um, strong A10. Can't wait for the rest of the album. Subscribe and comment. Keep it metal. Peace.